remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A eulogy is at the funeral of Iran's general, Qasem Soleimani has put an $80 million bounty on Donald Trump's head, literally. While speaking to a crowd in the city of Mashhad, he told them, we are 80 million Iranians. If each of us put up one American dollar, we would have $80 million to award anyone who can bring us Trump's head with that amount. A handle on Instagram posted the bounty. And George Lopez responded, we'll do it for half. Of course, our hell broke loose and here comes the, oh, he's about to get his whole family tree deported. You know, Trump, he, his minions, and you know, they got to come, boy. They got to come because any little threat, any minor threat, any perceived threat, any joking threat against the president of the United States, Donald Trump, oh, man. They go crazy. It is absolutely amazing how it was just shits and giggles every time somebody threatened Barack Obama, not to mention the rest of his family. He had to have received more debt threats than anyone in the history of America. In fact, had they followed up, had the uh, CIA uh, followed up, a Secret Service had followed up on just half the threats. You probably have half of America in jail. Well, it couldn't build the prisons that fast, but they would have been in some camps, concentration camps or something. See, it's cool, I guess, to threaten the president as long as he's not white. Donald Trump has the thinnest skin of anybody I've ever known, not just presidents. This dude, and he causes the most ruckus. He starts the most shit. And he complains the most. Always crying about something. I mean, like a little third grader or something. Throw, he's the master of throwing rocks and hiding his hands. Now, I suspect that at some point, George Lopez will probably have to apologize because the fact that George Lopez is Hispanic, they're going to use the whole build a wall, immigration, all that stuff against him. They're probably going to lean on members of his family and all kind of stuff. It is going to be some backlash. But I'm riding with George Lopez. It was a joke. He's a comedian. A joke is a joke, man. He said we'll do it for half. Now, we don't know if he was talking about specifically Hispanics or if he was talking about the American people. There have been tens of thousands of Americans who have joked about Donald Trump's demise. They haven't had visits from the Secret Service or had people jump into their DMs and timelines threatening them with death. I wonder why. Oh. Let me take a wild guess. Perhaps you can threaten the president of the United States as long as he's not white. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.